Welcome everyone. Before I forget, I just uh, did a short meditation to get some messages for you. And I want to tell you that first before I forget while well, it's fresh in my mind. I have the abbreviated seven deck read on the table as well as uh, two of my messages of the day. Really significant that you listen to them all. Um, I did the, the last one I'm presenting is the one I did um, just before this video. Um, very significant messages there. So let's go ahead and roll the die. We'll do that first and then we'll take a few deep breaths. Today is October 27. For me, that's the Queen's Gambit, which also came up in the message today. It's four, five, six on the clock now. We start at 4.55, which is the Emperor, the Lambda, or the L to one, the Lambda leap, um, which is that Lambda father energy with the 55, which is the Excalibur, which also comes up today with Lady Liberty. Very significant, okay? So for today, October 27, 2023. Okay, so we have Mars. We have Sagittarius, so both arrows are coming up here. So Mars is Aries, but Scorpio as well. And then we have Sagittarius in the middle, and we have the number six here, which is the Lovers and Gemini, which is that mercurial energy. Six is also love, family, and community. And Gemini, June is also, June, it's Gemini to Cancer, but Gemini primarily with um, mutable energy. Sagittarius is also mutable. And then we have we have uh, Aries, which is cardinal, and Scorpio, which is fixed. So two mutables, a cardinal, and fixed over here. And again, we have the two arrows. Oh, look, I didn't do that on purpose, but they're both pointing towards you. And then the spiral, period, which the spiral also could be the G for God energy there. And we have the Sagittarius energy. Remember, I always say that God's birthday is December 7th and the 13th, and we have two arrows in Sagittarius here. That's kind of cool. And then the six days between, right? Because the seventh day we rested. That's really interesting the way that just came up. All right, so before we get started and take our few deep breaths, the message I just got from my inner child. First, she was showing me the sleeping lion. And then after a minute or two, when I was going on to other images, I was getting the sphinx. So the sleeping lion in the queen's chambers, 11 cubits and also then she was whipping up her magic and she became frosty twirling across the stage as she's you know up to her magic tricks and then I saw the the energy of that lion sphinx from profile become like a dog and then a wolf vacuuming so it's like the masculine energy vacuuming but morphing from the sphinx to the dog and wolf from the lion and then continuing to morph into the horse and dragon as well but coming up quote unquote as on cleanup duty and now i'm getting the duty as in poop and somebody might be cleaning up the dog poop so um then i see her again as she's just sitting there kind of just lazily like she's the lazy lion, but with this little smile on her face, leaning on her hand as she looks at the dog wolf, who is then start, begins to howl. So he, the, the wolf is doing all the work and she's just smiling adoringly at the wolf, allowing them to do it for her. And it was very interesting because, you know, dog is God backwards. Well, wolf is flow backwards. So the dog wolf reference has to do with God's flow. So that, that was a really cool message coming in as well as Teddy just ran across the house <laughs> and he knocked a bowl on the way too. He spun the bowl across the kitchen. That's hysterical. Okay. All right. Let me go back to the beginning here. And in the beginning, so today is the 27th. Where are we starting here? We start on the 25th. Okay. So let's take our few deep breaths first with my F bowl here. So go ahead and take a deep breath. Okay. 
Another deep breath. And one more deep breath. lots of love and blessings hope you're having a beautiful day and thank you so much for joining me today as the sun starts to go down here but it was a beautiful day again here um, something else I was getting from my inner child message too was frosty was coming in as the cold weather kind of spinning across the world and I was just getting that again as I was doing this clearing um, but it's like a blanket you know it's a, about a big hug this the snow that comes in and there's a reference to the snow as the crystals, like we are, um, which will come up in the message today. So, yeah, let's get going, see where this goes. So the first one's on the table. So today I used uh, the Syrian Star Seed, the Rider Weight Mini, and then we have the Mythic deck over there too, with the Greek gods and such. So, all right, so here is the read on the table. I pulled a few extra cards at the end, as you can see. So this the, this was cut at um, 625 to 26, which was significant because I was doing the read on the 25 into the 26th, all right? So the 25th to the 26th, but also um, in the read today, along with the King of Wands, which is 23, which is this year, 2023, all around him were 24, 25, and now 26 is also coming in here. So 24 to 25 into 26. So the next two years being very significant. So I cut the deck at 625 to 626, which is the Knight and the Page of Wands. And I finished clarifying at 638, which is the Lovers and the Queen of Cups. And then at 640, I cut the Mythic deck, uh, which is the Lovers and the Page of Cups. So we had the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands and then the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups right there with the time and the lovers, love, family, and community as well. So let's see, we had, as far as the numbers in this read, we had triple twos, so very significant for one-to-one -one energies, the two of the duality and the mediation, bringing them to the center, the two of the divine feminine and the high priestess or higher self, and the two of the two, and then the 22 of the fool with an open heart taking a leap of faith. And then the triple twos, which is six of love, family, and community. And very much about guidance here, right? Which most people do end up getting guidance from their family in some way along the way. We have 33 coming up here, which is the Christ vibration. Also for me, it's the 4D bridge. The 77, uh, excuse me, the 66, did that come up? Maybe the 66 in a lesser sense, but the 77, the sovereign. So if there is mother and daughter, because that's the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, then the daughter is coming up is more significant here as we have the the the, loon, the, the moon or lunar eclipse um, tomorrow. And then, of course, Halloween's on the 31st. And I was getting a lot in this, these reads, too, about the World Series, which is weird because I don't usually watch all the sports stuff. But I was getting messages about that. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Sovereign, and then the Double Nines as well came up. A lot of, you know, Agent 99 of Compassion for Get Smart. And then we also have the 12 of the Hanging Man, the 23 this year, the King of Wands, 36 of the Ten of Wands, the Atlas Energy, the 78 of the End of the Deck, which is the Ten of Pentacles, or Heaven on Earth, and then 89, which is the Phi energy of expanding outside oneself after being under pressure for a long, long time. And then the 9, 10 begin again and again, always coming back to the heart and the present moment after expanding out or getting off balance. So um, from the mythic deck, the underlying energy was Poseidon, which was also significant in the message today as the oceans were coming up very significantly, uh, which is number 18 in this deck, which is also significant today. It's the number of the moon and Luna, which is the, you know, the full moon eclipse tomorrow, but also is the Chi energy, which is the eighth and 10th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which means life. 
And the number on this card is number one, which is, actually the next card was one, which is Eos. That was the first card out, which is number uh, 13, or is that three? It's th I think it's 13, but it, we'll get into that as soon as I start uh, talking about the message because I'll know then. But they're coming up beside in Eos as the earth shaker and the light maker, right? She's the new begin. Eos is the new beginnings, the dawn energy. And um, the code line was all about the number 24. It came up as 7, 2, 9, and 6. And 24 is not only the queen of wands, but it's also Omega, the, the symbol of enlightenment. It's also two and four, the spaces between, and it also is a reference to the Pleiades. So we have um, uh, the, the major arcana here in the reed were justice and the shadow, which is the devil. Before the reed was the wheel of fortune or the great wheel in this deck. And then afterwards was indigo, which is the magician, um, star seed, which is the fool. And then in the extra cards I pulled was Solar Deity and Guidance as well over here. So the Solar Deity and then the Guidance card there, which is the Hierophant. Uh, we had four cups, three swords, one pentacle, and one wand. So we have 43 and 11. 43 has come up a lot the past couple days, which is the three of cups. It's also my son's soul number and his birthday is coming up on the 29th. And then the 11 of Justice, which is Truth and Balance, but also Alignment. And then going into 11, which is November. We have the Nine of Cups in the Reed. The King of Swords is the main character. And prior to the Reed, the Queen of Cups. And then after the Reed, we had the Nine of Pentacles. So that's Sovereign Energy as well as the Page of Pentacles. So the code line here was coming up as Sophia. But also that S comes up as the Sine Wave, the Salt of the Earth, and also... Um, south, of course, S is south, but it's coming up to the nth degree. Um, like, like Simon says, Sophia says to the nth degree, say, just say to the nth degree, right? With command or commandment. And then the E comes up, which is the one equal and congruent to the seventh moral man, two twins and the nine of cups lovers share as in that pie symbol, right? Two halves sharing equally. The King of Swords, device of flames. Which the device of the flame references, right? The torch holder. Or the two vices are also coming up here in device of, of, of flames. Um, saith something say thee as the seventh is also the chariot and the seventh beat is also coming up the seventh beat of the heart the seventh note of the phrase the chariot to the nth degree and t2 also came up and tw which came up as twitter t2 which i knew nothing about but that was um, something that's now has that gone out twitter t2 was april 25th 23 and then it was changed to the name pebble and then as of October 24, 23, which was just the other day, Pebble T2 was shutting down, which is why I got the message about that. I don't know who needs to know that, but they had to shut down and close their world. But T2 also came up as the thyro thyroid, the thyroid hormone T2, um, but also tennis world and T2 T world. Um, Sophia to the nth degree again. The devil or temptation is off here, or it was coming up as Sophia turned off by the devil or those temptations. One equal and congruent to the divine feminine within the masculine to the nth degree or T, T, E, I regarding the cord, water, child, necktie was coming up as a noose as well. And then the drink T, T, E, A and one. And T, E, I also means um, it, which also goes back to if again, to the nth degree, the archer to sleep, go to give water and throat, 
to give, to have, to exist, to eat. And there's that energy of the feather in the fin, right? Light as a feather and love as a fin or fish, that reference to Christ energy. So the, the S and the N came up. So whether it's south and north, or for me, capital N is the Christ energy. So it's the Christo Sophia energy. Um, to the nth degree between Christ and Sophia is seven. In a flash of light, JC, which those initials JC also represent the, tr the toroidal field, the Taurus, with direction. Or seeing her, or seeing venerability. A sudden event creates with one equal and congruent to that Christ energy where East comes up here and East is spelled EST, which references Eastern Standard Time or the East Coast on the United States here as one equal and congruent to the path of the Christus Sophia and Lady Liberty came up today. So that's very significant. Okay. Uh, then 72 comes up here to the nth degree. 72 is a 72 by 72, but it's also the four of pentacles in the Syrian starseed deck, which is the divine masculine in the bat cave. So it's like the divine masculine's heart in the bat cave. Um, and 72 to the nth degree of source and two young satisfied lovers sharing mastery of thought and words. The divine CE of flames or the CE was coming up as the C, it's like spooning, right? The C around the E, we're cuddling. Where there are two on the whispering bench with Christ in the middle as the connector. The two vine C of love. So it was coming up as S. So the letter S is both sides of the parentheses, right? It's the C and the anti-C or the antithesis. And the pairing of the C's, the parent, the parentheses. So the two, the parentheses is the S, right? One curve one way, one curve the other. The pairing of the C's to the nth degree. Something say the two S's and the A rocket on the whispering bench. So then it comes up as the two parentheses, but then one one's empty, and then one parentheses is with the A in the middle, which is that that inspirational or rocket energy, you know creating blast off there to infinity, which then pushes the E of the one equal and congruent to the A, which is the Adam and E reference, but also referencing the E of the E tower of the feminine being pushed into her own set of parentheses. So SA becomes even with ES, which were the acronyms coming up in the code line infinitely moral with time out for one equal and congruent two twins getting their wish lovers sharing mastery of thoughts and words to align with the ace of flames or wands however you want to see that so and there's that source energy of the christed energy which then lights a flame under both to come together as soon as they both connect with source energy and with their higher self so the underlying energy of the mythic deck here was Persephone, number 29, who of course was kidnapped by, by Hades, right? Taken as his wife, but then her mom, you know, fought to get her out of there. So she gets her now one third of the year, right? So after Orpheus went to Hades here for his girl and hit, and again, Orpheus is the one who looked back, like he could have her back from Hades as long as he was able to leave without looking back and he did at the end as he left the cave it came out in this instance but he looked back and but she was still in there so that was considered looking back at her so then he she goes back to Hades so here's this energy of a Persephone is now with Hades down there after Orpheus went to Hades to get the girl she is awakening to her gifts similar to Perseus's courage number 42 of the two of cups and Medusa, which is coming up as the Ma, the mother Deuce. As he receives a message from na Nature Boy here, Pan, and there's that pandemic reference in the 21 of the world, by way of Hermes, the messenger, 26, the page of wands, which also comes up as Newton's cradle. And remember with Newton's cradle, right? The cradle rocks, right? Um, rock a baby, but 
in this reference it comes up as a very light cradle so when it falls it falls light as a feather so it doesn't no baby is really harmed you know it sounds kind of cruel in the actual lullaby because the the cradle falls right so so he receives a message from nature boy pan by way of hermes per her and pan so we were talking about persephone uh, with a co mess of nature perhaps pan sent a rose to perseus the goat to the would-be centaur with Pegasus, because I always get the energy of Athena, a.k.a. Hercules, and Pegasus, a.k.a. is actually a centaur with um, Perseus, so they get together and become one as a centaur. So Persephone wakes the boys as number seven Prometheus makes a sacrifice and brings the flame to Hestia's home by way of Himera's rebirth and Nemocene's inspiration. As Prometheus comes up as the pro that met he or us, he sees a finding Nemo synchronicity, number eight, to Hestia, which is H E S T, Eastern Standard Time, or just East, which is also a reference to Esther, and then I A, which she's number 24 here, which again is Omega in the Pleiades. So he sees, where is this? So Prometheus, and I'm trying to figure out what I was trying to code right here. He, the pro met he, us, he, C, A, finding Nemo synchronicity to H, Est, which is east, and then I A. So remember, I is the I am is the human, which is the H, fallen over into the horizontal, right? So source is the vertical pillar, and the human is the horizontal pillar as H. And Hestia comes up at H and then E S T I of source of a rocket blasting off. He's source rocket, or with T I A, horizontal Eastern Standard Time I am blasts off home. So it's like getting up first thing in the morning on the East Coast and there's that rocket, you know, which is NASA, blasting off to go home. At 7.42 is the chariot and the two of cups of Prometheus's fire is the seven key to get from the four of survival to the eight of their dreams. The 24 of enlightenment as Hestia stirs the pot and increases the flames. So here Prometheus gave the humans the flame and here's Hestia stirring up, stirring up the pot. So now there's a lot of flames ascending within to enlightenment. As the JC initials light, enlightenment is, EN is code JC for me. So enlightenment is JC light, JC intent. He the sacrifice and the rebirth, she the inspiration to get home. Poseidon. Pose I Don. Now Don, and this is card number 30. It adds up to, Don adds up to 33, which is that Christ vibration. But the letters Don are 4, 15, and 14, which is the emperor, the devil, and the angel. So it's like God, God's shadow, and angelic realms. The 33 of the emperor, the devil, and the angel. Where there's too much fire, P-O of the say S. E.I. Whale sees I Don, right? So there's that Poseidon energy. The Po sees the ID or the id, the ego being on. I Don. So I Don, the word I D O N, equals time or time out, noon or weather. One, one by one, alone, child, offspring, I dog, puppy, women, absent minded, away with the fairies, nuts, cuckoo or to drink, one by one offspring alone, driven to drink, go crazy, or forget perhaps who they are. As I then, because for me, the letter D is the same as the M. It's like a, a short way of saying M, because M used to be written as two parentheses with a line in the middle. That was literally the symbol for M. 
and M for me is 1, 1, and V in the middle, which is co-creation, which is the same as 1, 1, 1, and D is literally that multidimensional energy of the M because it's the, li the line in the middle, which is the, the, um, the axle, and then the C that comes off as the D is the, the loop that then spins around. So when the C spins around the center axle, it becomes a full circle. So it's the same thing as the two parentheses with the line down the middle, which of course is pi. So the letter D and the letter M basically mean the same thing. So after I, was, I had assessed the word Don, they had me bring in the M because M is the same as D. So I looked up I mon as well, I M O N, which is cast metal, right? Funny, I was just talking about the axle, right? To hold the C on, right? The, and, and now I'm getting the earth core being iron, right? We're changing to crystalline. Um, but it also means Ni and Imam, the Shiite Muslim leader, one of 12 Imams, descendants of Muhammad from the 7th to 9th centuries. Those who lived, the CE came up as those who lived exemplary, exemplary lives. The Savon was also coming up as the devil versus the positive side on Poseidon. The devil versus Poseidon. So Poseidon is coming up as also P-O-S-E-I-D-O-N, which is the P of human, C, ego, on, posing as Don, which was really funny because I just watched John, the John Gotti movie, which is about the Don, right? The, the Godfather energy, infiltrating from within, to take down the mob. So then I was seeing, right, so the whole movie is about how he actually ended up taking down the mob in the 80s because he liked all the attention and their whole MO was to not be in the limelight under attention, but he, you know, he wanted to be like a movie star. That was his personality. So I was getting that he was actually meant to do that. Like he was the light infiltrating as a shadow aspect in order to bring down the energy. So it's just, it's showing us how this works, right? So you might not like the person who comes in to bring it down because you might see them as the bad guy, but actually in reality, their soul sacrificed themselves to play that role in order to take it down. So lots of different scenarios will play out that way, right? Someone will infiltrate, right? Whatever the system is, whether it's politics, whether it's the school system, whatever it is. So there's this energy of infiltrating from within to take down the mob. And John Gotti was coming up as John got T, which T is source. He's got sources playing his part, his Don role, his ID or id on, but his identification on with lots of emotion, which is E motion, one equal and congruent to the motive of source being on. So of course, Poseidon is very familiar with sleeping with the fishes as his home was under the sea, as the fishes are a great place to be and tubing it was coming up, or time hopping. So just like we tube things in the hospital to get from place to place, uh, TH is also time hopping from dimension to dimension. The, the sign fire was given to humans. So because Prometheus gave us fire, the chicken of the sea and star kissed right, or this, the golden child, had to get involved in order to balance all that fire out. As I, I just had showered <laughs> right there, it's so funny how it always comes into play. So at 837 is the strength, and then the 37 of the, the king of cups, the three keys of alchemy, and unconditional love, and eight is also the manifestation of dreams. After Orpheus went to Uranus, all this Orpheus to Uranus deal after Hades. And so these, this is Orpheus came up with Uranus the day before and after Hades and Persephone's deal and after Zeus and the whole fire with Prometheus deal, Poseidon pops up in Scorpio as the dawn of the sea, the earth shaker with trident two ments in one or intentions already swimming as the already swimming with the fishes 
with nothing to fear, right? So when you go to those darkest, deepest places, you no longer fear, right? When you even feel like dying, you no longer fear anything. So there's a purpose for all of this. So already swimming with the fishes with nothing to fear, coming up as a cancer crab with new beginnings with Eos, number 13, and Scorpio, as we're in Scorpio now, is here for transition from deep down, bringing cancer up to deal with the 33 of Chiron healing. Pegasus, you know, uh, teamed up with Perseus to be the centaur, <laughs> the center of attention. And Eos is the E, one equal congruent to the Os, or the operating system of Oz, or O2, with Chiron, Chi of Ron, the chain of iron, or 22 yards, transitioning through the Christ consciousness with the Moray, or the Fates, where Chiron is the C-H-I-R and O-N, and the Moray is M-O-I-R-A-E. Both with IR in the middle, and it just happens that I worked in IR for 25 years and my father was one of the fathers of IR. <laughs> so it's really funny how it comes up. Um, in the middle of CH and ON, which is EA or horsepower and channel on, and the MO, AE, which is AE on, because CH means also EA, which is EA on. So there's this play between EA and, uh, which is NK and Enlil. So EA on and MO, AE. So EA on, which also equals EAN, which is to bring forth the lambs, which is 1 billion years. The spirit being emanated from the Godhead, the hyperbolic or exaggerated negative curvature of two points mapped to itself by that line or arc, which is saying it's exaggerated, it's oversaturated, more than 100%. And the M-O-A-E of the more means mother, with E-O-M being to be or exist and E-A-M being the maternal uncle. And the C-H-O-N is the person of underpants, dog, to sell, or snake. So the I-R horsepower on, or the I-M, are the horsepower that's on with a motive of ash, bright light, Adam and Eve, where Ea channel or Ea is on, the mother's bright light bringing forth the lambs of a billion years emanating from the Godhead as rays of the sun, spelled both ways, overreaching to mother, reflecting her brother to be. Oversaturated fire leads to the mother arc, of that water energy, where I are getting Poseidon to help with the water in the age of Aquarius, with the emotion of laughter. So Scorpio dives deep to find the bright light, the ash at the bottom of the seas, the horsepower of Chiron getting Pegasus and Perseus to power up the healing. The healing is the he all ing, where ing is the meadow to wobble, the water house as the squid sprays ink all over the place. And of course, Scorpio, with their stinger, they could be spraying something of their own right there. So they clear the way for Eos with their new beginnings. The energy of Scorpio to Sagittarius gate, which is that 1212 gate, with the wounded warrior surrendering to the fates. As Hebe here is number 31, she likes to play, and Celine is number 11, who's the light and the moon. She's that Luna energy with the torch and the silver chariot. She intuits. And we have the numbers 31 and 11, which equals 42 of the two of cups, which is the two of them teaming up, the one who plays and the one uh, with the silver chariot and the moon energy here. And for me, that's the daughter energy. So there's very playful energy between two girls here, very different personalities. So one plays, the other one naturally intuits, but teaming up as he be and C line, a group alignment as Eos clears the way for November and the sisters intuition. The sisters, Eos was coming up as the sisters with golden wings and the dark night over. 
as Chiron and Hebe play with the fates, protected by the light, with Iris then as Hera's messenger, as the rainbow, free to travel all realms. She is the link of heaven and earth and boundaries to Hades as well. And then the sun and water of harmony, of play and healing linked by the rainbow bridge, where Iris 32 is then the journeyman. And there's that reference to the iris of the eye, which the iris is the the gate that opens and closes. And it's the color that brings the color in as well. The Cancer brings the summer fire forward to pass the baton to Scorpio now to deal with ice and Isis, or is is. Halloween play to see the light and heal through the fates, bridging play with intuition for harmony. Intuition is the in twit or the twin towers of you and I connection, the two tones and a chord, a co road or research and development. And through the TT of you and I connection, the pi then comes up under pressure. A billion years is the phi energy of the flattened circle because there's so much pressure going on to change its energy that the H, the H is in the middle here, the human, the horizontal pillar, sharing the source vertical pillars. And they're both such pills. <laughs> I don't even I don't even get me started on their quantum entanglement as N tan glee meant of JC human glee full intent and now back to the regularly scheduled program about I was getting the pogroms which is all about starving people so the pogroms were coming up as pog rams which is awesome rams or paternal grandmother which is my Esther who was actually I think she was actually Pisces because she was um, March 13th, but she was very Aries personality. And actually my daughter's very much the same. So this, and my grandmother's name was Esther. That's my middle name because I was named after her. So there's that energy of Esther, but also the East and the Dawn rising, right? Because the, everything rises from the East. So the pogroms and starvation and the PO grams as well. So some kind of uh, telegrams, but pograms. The Pog Rams, so again, uh, Aries is in the North Node right now. The Awesome Rams, or Paternal Grandmother was coming up. And again, the Grandmother comes up again as the Earth and Sophia energy. So we have the underlying energy here of the Three of Cups upright, with the Seven of Swords reversed, the Wheel reversed, the Queen of Pentacles upright, the Three of Wands reversed, the Eight of Swords upright, and prior to that was the King of Wands with the Six of Swords, which actually came up in the cards today. The King of Wands finds peace coming clean in a turn of events or while things slow down. The Queen of Pentacles looks back anxiously or at imprisonment in the past and coming together. As the Page of Swords reversed, perhaps their game got rained out, or bad news bears, immature communications of the Page of Swords reversed and separation from the Dark Knight reversed, or the Emperor reversed, who's not well, or is just really tired, uh, with the Knight of Wands reversed and the Nine of Pentacles reversed, defenseless or without excuse. And that could be their kids, you know, who are making them crazy, or just don't want to come, and there's no need for an excuse, or coming together to cheer them up, someone's on hospice, or after a death perhaps, uh, some kind of celebration or celebration of life here. As the devil reversed is detoxing for dreams to come true, nervous about seeing a soul tie, the six of cups, as the stars align, right, over this portal of, of Samhain. With sink holes and leaks, tributaries and sinks, creating a puddle or fish pond that's very muddy, how to navigate these emotions as prisoner of love, the innocent, pure love with Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Sag, and Capricorn all reversed. And then Aquarius is all is upright. And notice the order I said those signs. And this is the way they came up. Libra, Scorpio, and then Aries just references the North Node here. So between Scorpio and Aries, I mean, between Scorpio and Sagittarius, because we're going in line of the signs we're in now, 
from Libra to Scorpio, but between Scorpio and Sagittarius comes the North Node, and it's coming in with the, you know, the Halloween portal there, because that's the North Node. And then it goes into Capricorn reversed. So once we get past all of them, because they're all reversed, then oh, Aquarius is coming up as like, right, this is the time, right? As soon as we go into mid-January into Aquarius. Ding, ding, ding. So the recent past is the Two of Pentacles reversed with the Hierophant upright, the Seven of Cups reversed, the Hanging Man upright, the Four of Wands upright, the Five of Pentacles upright, and the Queen of Pentacles upright. Coming together in joy with a need to surrender to all that is. In a marriage or religion, establishment, dreams dashed, hanging out at home, discharged, or sent to the Queen of Pentacles for care, or after a party, back to the Queen of Pentacles. So the foundation here is at 951, the Hermit and the King of Swords. As the Seven of Cups is reversed, and beneath that was the Eight of Cups, the Moon reversed, the Two of Swords reversed, and the Six of Swords upright. And we had Taurus, Capricorn, or Pisces upright, and Cancer reversed here. Walking away and within, away from deception, at the New Moon Eclipse, with clarity, deciding on peace, or up and, or up and out really early, And or coming downstairs here or getting up really early and out before coming downstairs. There's this energy of someone not wanting to be seen as they get out, up in the morning, right? So maybe if they get up really early, they can get out from the basement or upstairs without anyone else have, having awakened yet. We have the Three of Cups upright and the Six of Cups upright coming together in joy, but then coming down from the high as the central energy of the Two of Swords reversed, the Two of Wands is upright here with an offer to the Queen of Pentacles from the Ten of Cups reversed unhappy family or to end the emotional cycle of unhappiness here, offering the Queen of Pentacles a new path or an ultimatum, family stuck without a car or in a breakup, a breakdown, a break in, out, or through, presenting the truth to the King of Cups reversed about the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles both upright here, offering help to the Page of Cups and the Hermit or perhaps they were sent to apologize to them. As Cancer's reversed, or the whole truth here, from the Ten of Cups reversed to the King of Cups reversed, clearly no longer comfortably numb, coming down after a gathering with decisions, but then off balance. Challenged by the Nine of Cups reversed and dissatisfaction, or not getting their wish, perhaps humiliated the Queen of Cups upright, but player with a bad reputation. Perhaps she's trying not to show her need for attention or feeling a failure under the radar at 1022, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. As Cancer reversed and Virgo upright, perhaps all water signs here and Earth or the Queen of Pentacles kids are with the King of Cups reversed to see the Page of Cups and the Hermit or perhaps a new child or the Queen of Cups upright may be hiding her feelings or this could be trick-or-treaters coming to the door. And now, crowning is the Justice card reversed, coming down with clarity of injustice without sunshine in a, in a losing battle, coming together after work with passionate offer from the Queen of Wands reversed, who may be dissatisfied but being patient, or maybe she is a patient and she's just tired or sick, or dissatisfied with patient Page of Wands offering their time, money, and effort, or new life for the, page of, for the King of Pentacles reversed to take a load off. So perhaps this child is or the child of the King of Pentacles reversed, is excited to be able to, to kind of be at their beck and call to help them take a load off or relieve some of their burdens or duties um, for a very ungrounded King of Pentacles reversed. Drained by constant fighting with Libra reversed coming together and then falling apart when the Queen of Wands reversed shows up offering sex or another project. Not getting her way with the Page of Wands giving their all to relieve the King of Pentacles reversed and soon here is the Queen of, it's the Six of Cups upright, after the Empress reversed, was filling in the gap between the Hermit and implementing a plan to announce, call, or wake up the back, or a wake up call from the past. With the Magician reversed, without tools needed to manifest, but working hard to align, churn out, or get their ducks in a row, 
Taurus is reversed, Aquarius upright, and Gemini or Virgo upright as well. The Six of Cups, that loving, innocent child energy hugging of siblings, lovers, children, sweethearts, or fond memories of coming together. Perhaps the Knight of Cups reversed with the Queen of Cups upright, or the Queen of Cups with the Page of Cups, or the Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups reversed. In the past, perhaps they were so happy together. As Hermit or Virgo upright may be shedding light connected to the Empress reversed and Justice reversed, or Taurus and Libra both reversed, and the Divine Feminine coming out to wake the dead from the past, or some kind of manipulation at work at 1044, which is the Wheel and the Four of Cups of boredom and apathy, or grounding and integrating the experience by being still. So of the aces in this read, they're all upright except for the ace of cups. We have, um, was there some kind of manipulation at work or manipulators with secret keeper nearby or sister to cover them as the twin flames seeing themselves as the shadow reversed, detoxing, dumping emotional attachments that no longer serve as the king of swords may be distant from the knight of swords reversed, who may be overwhelmed, or a disagreement that led to a breakup or tears or lashing out here. As the Knight of Swords reverse may be pushed to the limit or pushing somebody else to the limit and letting go on the King of Swords to invest in the Three of Pentacles workplace or to make amends, uh, needing strength or courage to be free or taking the pet for a walk to get out of the house and be free. As Capricorn Leo are reversed and Aries is upright here, or perhaps just one more week more before being free. As the King of Swords could be Aquarius coming unhinged at work, or by Leo reversed and Aries upright, or fire signs in general, the King of Swords in control of their thoughts and words, but not seeing eye to eye at work, perhaps holding their tongue but triggered and sweating it out, and then laying all the cards on the table to find strength and be free again. Around the twins, or how they're seen, is the Ten of Swords reversed, where the worst is now over, coming clean or cleaning up a big mess, in a tower event, a break-in, or explosions, or throwing everyone or everything out, post-war, surrendering to share or settle out, now that the worst is over, getting ready for the bliss. As Scorpio is upright, or this time period anyway, perhaps detoxing with a massage, or an epiphany perhaps. The block here is the King of Swords upright, with the High Priestess sister, Pisces or Virgo, getting over block after block, or blocking the King of Swords' energy, or sister blocking his calls or messages, or requests for work. As the challenge is the Nine of Cups reversed, and the block is the King of Swords, challenged, uh, challenged as no longer wanting to be alone, but the King of Swords blocking or the Queen of Pentacles blocking the arrows of love or energies between. As the Ace of Wands upright is a big new passion, the Six of Cups and the King of Swords come together and ignite. After the injustice of the Knight of Cups reversed, starting over in a downturn or slowdown with the King of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Swords is upright, speaking to the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community, awakening them to her suffering in silence, or perhaps her sister, her stress, as the indigo is reversed, the nine of swords is upright. The indigo perhaps re was rejected and is hiding from their twin. As Libra reversed and Gemini or Virgo reversed with star seed getting a knock on the head or a hailstorm. So again, that winter weather is coming in. That hailstorm or downloads into the crown all around the world with affections for the King of Wands upright, 2023, coming full circle with the Divine Feminine, Pisces, neighbor, or world, with two more DNA strands, so that 24th pair, and the Lover King of Wands, or Twin, 2023. So this energy of like, whether it's real or metaphoric, like the icy weather coming in, so whether it's a snowstorm that actually brings in some downloads, or it's just, the, it's just a metaphor for the energy that comes in with that to wake up everyone around the world to their 24th pair of chromosomes. The two more DNA strands with lover king of wands or twin 20, twins 2023, 
Pisces and Gemini, or fish and twins, a leap of the page of pentacles, a curious student who's drained or in need of sun or vacation, with guidance under the radar or paid under the table, or fool invites Leo reversed and Taurus upright in need of attention, feeling a failure or fell off the horse and committed to get, getting back on or fixing their reputation at 1109, which is justice and the hermit. So Cancer Earthshaker going under as Scorpio Sag takes over, surrendering to playtime, slowing down to align with the journey of harmony. Slow down of the Queen of Pentacles, looking back at hiding in the woods and then finding joy, repeating the steps or coming down to detox, get a massage now that the worst is over. A need to let go and surrender to all that is with clarity. Challenged by being alone, the Six of Cups soul ties and fond memories, with the King of Swords need for justice with flame, and indigo reversed, hiding underground, insecure without tools to deal with their twin flame. In a big download to the crown with the Page of Pentacles opportunity to vacate marriage and keep a low profile. The Queen of Pentacles is not waiting on their, on their ship to come in. With anxiety about reunion and dropping the facade, the act, the pattern, or losing balance of the juggling act, or off from the daily grind, coming downstairs or repeating steps, clearly unhappy alone and in need of justice, detoxing, the Six of Cups upright, innocent, loving connection of kids, fond memories, or their soul tie. Now that the worst is over and the bliss of the King of Swords, new passion, that may be insecure or hiding underground, the twin flame star seeds in the page of pentacles drained by a marriage, religion, establishment, or guidance, and laying low under the radar at 11.29, which is, again, justice and the three of wands being present in the moment. Okay. So then we have, and the Essenes were coming up. Who else was coming up here? Um... Ramses were coming up. The Ramses one and two, and the Essenes were coming up. And the yeah, the Mahara it came up from the Maharajas. So the first one was, uh, sorry if I say it wrong, but uh, Runjit Singh, lion. There's that lion reference, lion of the Punjab. Um, died June 27th, so he was born 1113, which is coming up, and died 627, 1839. The founder of the Maharaja of the, of the Sikh Kingdom of the Punjab, or Afghans, um, short, they described him in the description as short, unattractive, and blind in one eye. So you can look that up if you want to, but um, Ramses 1 and 2 both came up. But it was actually more of a focus on Ramsey 1. Ramsey 2 is actually the grand, the grandchild because the son of Ramsey 1 was Seti 1, not Ramsey. Okay. And alms were coming up with that too. And Mandaism, which was interesting because my grandmother's maiden name was Mandelbaum. Um, um, what else there? I think that's pretty much it. All right. So going into this next message, my message of the day, this one um, is here. All right, so we have, it's my mixed deck of the Lenormand Reverie and the Kipper deck up top. And then we have the Wild Unknown Animal Guidebook, and then my Fortune's Oracle, and then we have the Rider Waite at the bottom. So I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see. The cards on the left is the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck. Uh, I usually pull three cards, and then the rest of the cards are organically wanting to come out. So I use them for numerology as well as to finish the message from each deck. So these were pulled 1141 to 1144 yesterday. And it was a real, I didn't feel good yesterday. I had a really restless night. I kept waking up and stretching. I don't know why. I was doing these really weird stretches. Um, 
And that's when I woke up too. I posted on Instagram. I woke up to my sheets staring at me. There was literally like an Egyptian eye staring at me when I woke up. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So these were pulled 1141 to 44, which is the 11 of justice, the 41 of the ace of cups, the two of cups, three of cups, and four of cups. The numbers at the end of the decks, the piles were 2112 and also 94435 came up. Two queens align, the hermit to grounding and integrating and surrendering to love, the divine feminine and divine masculine hanging out with hermit grounding and integrating and licking their wounds. The world and the hanging man or two Pisces, Virgo learning to receive love from the wounded warrior and or vice versa, uh, which is a Sagittarius energy, but really can be any fire energy and social urgency present, a gift as the emperor to come together with the hierophant or church versus state. And again, perhaps bridging that gap. So, and then I, right after the numbers 2112 came up, I literally started processing at 1221. So at 1221, the underlying energy was the 24 of the thief and the hawk the 33 of the unicorn and the king of wands reverse, which is the 23, the queen of wands thief, or with a little thief, clearing the air for unicorn to bridge. And the unicorn comes up in this deck too, as the 33, which is for me, the 4D bridge, the Christ consciousness. Um, and the magic, if you just believe, with the king of wands reversed here. At 1224 is the underlying energy, the magical deliverance of self-discovery The magical deliverance of self-discovery, riding the rainbow or carousel, two wise owls reaping rewards, or hanging out the 29 of the loving lady with the rose and the 29 power lady, who may be dressed to pose, both with truth, presence, and gifts, as the 34 of the energetic exchange, eight of wands, with the king of pentacles and the water and the fishes. So there's that reference again to, to the mob and to Poseidon. So the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands dealing with the King of Pentacles or trapping a man as the first card out was the four in the home, the 13 of the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Aries, Scorpio and Leo there or finding peace at school or the establishment, the institution as the Page of Swords or messages in transition between the King of Cups, home and place in the sun perhaps a son in need of peace at school, work, or hospital, or the Queen of Wands, Aries, and Scorpio, King of Cups, perhaps both are in school or at work, or maybe they work at a school, or Scorpio, Child, King of Cups, may be seeking peace with Pisces, Aries, and the King of Pentacles, or Master of the Funds. So then we have the 15 of the Capricorn Mother Bear. Perhaps she's pushy or burdened by the Queen of Cups working so hard or tempted to overwork or detoxing with Mother Bear before going back to work. 11 and 17 were the justice of dreams of the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, cracking the whip to nest the dream, or Libra and Aquarius aligning with an opportunity or invite, or a good student um, to help them with a nest of their own. As the 23 King of Wands may be standing up to others' messes, the nine of the Hermit may be hermiting changes, a new car or home or location. As the 25 of the Knight of Wands with honors and the Queen of Cups working on twin bridges to the one main male. And there we have the King of Wands and Knight of Wands again. Um, I'm just remembering that crack. That crack came up earlier in the message today and I wanted to write down something else. I'm trying to remember what I was trying to remember about the crack. I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. But at 1240 is the Hanging Man and the Page of Cups of Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Sag, and Gemini. Perhaps two Queen of Cups here as the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands and perhaps Scorpio, Pisces, King of Cups. At 242, the Hanging Man and the Two of Cups, the underlying energy is the event, the swarm, the wound, the accident. Fire ants, as the wolf watches this all go down, as the crocodile lay in wait, or threatening wolf while the hawk takes flight. Like a moth to the flame, the lion shark, perhaps a lion with a shark mask on, it's Halloween, to the black egg, which is the throat chakra, the truth of the happy-go-lucky dolphin, 
was all over the wolf, the crocodiles waiting around to collect and then take off, or is it the hornets all over the hawks and are out of there, and the dolphins lost to the eagles with upcoming patriots and chiefs and firewolf chalk, which is another type of artwork, or Pisces doll, or furry dog, a teddy bear, cutting off his circulation, but then setting him free, which was so funny that energy came up because Jenna was dressing up Teddy in sweatshirt. But whenever you put clothes on him, he gets paralyzed and he walks like he can't walk. It's so funny. Okay. So anyway, the next card out, the first card was the earthworm, intestines, and the rebalancing of the gut energies. As the fox watches out for the little one or has a nervous stomach when they're on duty as the cobra lookout, or posted in the tower on high alert, as the lamb is a target, keeping their ear to the ground or the ear to the earth, or fox TV, as co-rib cages, or ribbing each other in the dugout. The lamb of LA Major Ball, as the phoenix rises from the ashes, the Diamondbacks Arizona versus Tex, and I had no idea who was playing, but I don't know why they bring me to the sports stuff because I don't usually keep up with it, but there's obviously a message here for someone and it can be a metaphor. It doesn't have to be about the World Series at all. So the Phoenix rising from the ashes as AZ versus Tex, the Diamondbacks versus the Rangers from Arlington and Phoenix, a lot of humming over Phoenix Rattler as dragons keeping an eye on them. Batter up with an eye on the ball, the root chakra and solar here, well grounded with confidence. At 114 is the Magician and the Temperance card of the Angels. And again, the Angels came up here too with the Lamb, the the Angels uh, major ball. I don't know why they were coming up here. Um, the underlying energy of the Eight and the Dragonfly, the Six of the Chariot, the Lover's Dance as the Chariot's on fire, and the Seven with Fireworks of two hearts is one and a beautiful mind with eight what goes around comes around as the four the four sparkly unicorns here pull but they're waiting for Mr. Ed's uh, Mr. Ed's son in their shadow the white unicorn and their shadow to lead the way and remember uh, the horse was coming up as the unicorn in the 5D so you can't see their horn in 3D the Cinderella's Chariot, a firecracker boomerang, where lovers blast off on the bridge of Christ consciousness. And remember the crack in the mountain too is where the light comes through. So the 29 of the star, present with gifts like Santa's sleigh, but second coming instead, as she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. The people's remembrance of Sirius and Star escorting the moon around the world. Okay, so again, the moon literally orbits, you know, around the earth or with the earth. But this is always coming up as the, the moon as the daughter energy being escorted by Sirius mother and Star. A great view from the bridge here. And so why are the 29th or October 29th and November 2nd being highlighted here when there are no games even scheduled for those days. The 27th looks like the Queen's Gambit, which is today's first game. Will the games go past, will those two games go past midnight, right? The 28th into the 29th or the 1st into the 2nd? Uh, the home team advantage here with magic stars and moon and new passion after coming full circle a proposal of a new passion here which is that number 27 again and it was at 127 which that 27 for me is the queen's gambit the two is the q and the seven is that boomerang which then becomes the vesica pisces and the queen's gambit is all about you know putting a little something forward to kind of test the waters as the 12 of the fool with the hanging man and the 28 of the snake at their feet, transitioning to the gold with the 25 knight of wands and phoenix rising in the end in the desert, the diamondbacks, and again referencing a snake, right, are golden here. And I was getting this energy like, I don't know that they're going to win on the first, but whoever wins, wins 
on their home turf was the message I was getting. The 131 